Meat Boy is, I'm dropping a fucking cauliflower all over the floor, is definitely not back. We are making roast cauliflower because I forgot to check my calendar which day Easter was. We have a few hundred pounds of lamb leg. I intended on doing a recipe for but instead we're just going to do a side dish for you guys. Really, really simple roast cauliflower. So let's get started because it's way too late. Hey, with this bright ass light, you guys can see how dirty my kitchen is. I got flour and crumbs everywhere from all the bread baking. But we have our $5 head of organic cauliflower. Just have some salt from Frankie's syringe meat. This is the Himalayan pink salt. And we have some of the farm fresh A2 grass fed butter. That's it, really simple. Uh, I was thinking about using the coconut oil too, but maybe we'll just try a little butter today. So this is gonna be a pretty simple prep, guys. We're just gonna slice it so that it has a base to sit on. And then pull the extra leaves off. Anytime I smell this butter, it's such good stuff. And all the dairy products on Frankie Strange Meat are unsalted with the exception of the cheeses. So, you know, the butter, the cream, yogurt, everything, we don't put salt in it. So the butter does a really good job of just kind of like getting in all the creases and crevices on this as it's like soft and solid at room temperature. You could use herbs, spices, I think, uh, Frankie's steak seasoning would probably go really good on this. But you know, whenever you have really high quality ingredients like organic cauliflower and fresh farm butter and just a good salt, there's no point in going crazy and adding all these different herbs and spices and flavorings to things. Maybe one or two things you like could be nice or just for a change of pace, you know, adding some garlic. But for the most part, if the ingredients are really good, really high quality, you don't have to go crazy with adding all different types of stuff. So we're really caking on the butter here and a lot, a lot of it is just going to kind of melt off as this cooks. So keep that in mind. You're not, you know, actually going to end up eating, you know, 500 calories worth of butter. So we have our head of cauliflower. I'm going to dust some salt on top. Uh, both our Himalayan salt and our Bolivian rose salt are really, really fine. So you can, you know, kind of go like high up and just sprinkle it on there. Throw salt around your kitchen, make more of a mess. So I actually preheated the Dutch oven at 350. You don't really have to do this, but uh, just make the process a little faster. Now we can't just roast this because it's gonna brown on the outside before the inside is anywhere near cooked. So what you could do is use a Dutch oven to steam it or you could kind of cover it in parchment paper and stuff. Uh, but we have the Dutch oven, so we're gonna use that. Just put this in here. I'm just going to put a little water on the bottom. I guess we can use wine or stock too. I'm not really sure how much water is going to come out of this as it cooks, so I'm just going to put a little on the bottom to be safe. Pop this lid back on. Should be maybe 30, 40 minutes with the lid on, and then another 30, 40 with the lid off. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really trust this oven that's older than me. So it's been half an hour. Very hot inside. Smells delicious. As we said, a lot of that butter is kind of just in the bottom, so it's basically been steaming in butter flavor. I mean, I would say more than half of that butter is absorbed in the cauliflower, so. We'll be back. All right, moment of truth. Not bad, not bad. Presentable. Incredibly presentable. Looks amazing. Probably use way too much butter. This looks great. What would be cool is if you had a slightly smaller Dutch oven, you could just serve this on the table and then uh, people can take it out of there. In regards to serving this, it's probably good for about 10, 15 minutes on the table. So, you know, you can leave this in the oven. There's a little bit of leeway on that. So just make sure that when you take it out and serve it, it stays hot because the cauliflower doesn't really reheat that well. It can kind of give it some funky flavors. So we got some veal and quinoa for dinner. I'm gonna serve myself some cauliflower. It's come off really nice and easy. Yeah, you could keep it pretty, you could just chop chunks of it off. Cauliflower, definitely one of the healthiest vegetables for liver detox. Great source of fiber. I mean, how good can cauliflower with salt and butter on it taste? Could definitely use some more salt. I mean, it's good. I like the flavor of the cauliflower, the soft texture of it, and then 
and the caramelization on the outside gives it a really nice crunch and flavor. I will say, this recipe is mainly for presentation. You know, if you just sauteed some cauliflower in a pan with some butter and salt, you'd really have the same product. I mean, it's really, really delicious. Like, I don't know. I'm not eating anything else on this plate besides cauliflower. Yeah, so if you don't want to have to chop up the cauliflower and like baby it in a pan, sauteing it and all that type of stuff, this is a lot easier. You just put it in the oven. It does take longer, but end result is super, super delicious. Very, very tender, very soft. If you like a crispier cauliflower with more texture, then uh, you have to adjust the, uh, the cooking temperature a little bit, but hopefully you guys like this recipe. This honestly applies to a lot of vegetables. Just add a good quality fat to it some salt, poach in the oven, cook it through, and then roast it to get the caramelization. Really, really nice. And then you can add those herbs, spices, even like beef stock, make a demi glace or something if you want to uh, you know, kind of serve the vegetables on their own as a standoff dish. But you guys can go to frank stefanocom where you will find the butter and salt uh, that we use in this recipe, as well as all my other businesses and interesting products. A little bonus. I don't know if I've ever had quinoa. I don't know about this one, guys. It's okay. Nothing to write home about. And we'll have to do a, a better quinoa recipe in two or three weeks. I just made a plan with beef stock and stuff. Anyway, thanks again for joining, guys. Please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.